Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Anesthesia Clinics. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the intravenous induction agents, uh, part three. Uh, in the, today, we are going to discuss more about thiopentone and the other barbiturates, which are uh, it fall in the similar group. Thiopentone has been used for many, many years. It was um, more, one of the most popular choices of an IV induction agent till a few years back. But with the advent of uh, propofol, uh, it is sort of uh, falling back and not so popular anymore. The first choice everywhere is uh, propofol now. But still, uh, it is important to know if there are certain indications where it is used. And um, many, many centers where propofol cannot be used due to the cost issues, it is still uh, a popular choice. Okay, uh, in a structure, it is uh, derived from a barbituric acid, which comes in two forms, thiobarbiturates and oxybarbiturate. The thiobarbiturates are thiopentol and thioamyl. Oxybarbiturate is methohexetal. Uh, replacing the oxygen at the C2 with a sulfur atom, it increases its lipid solubility. Thiopental and thiamyl have a greater potency, more rapid onset of action, and shorter duration of action after a simple sleep dose compared to pentobarbital. Standard solution 2.5 has a pH of more than 9. So as you can see, this is a very alkaline pH mechanism of action. It depresses the reticular activating system in the brainstem, which controls consciousness, binds to a GABA-A receptor, Potentiates the action of GABA in increasing the duration of openings of a chloride-specific ion channel. Uh, the pharmacokinetics absorption prior to the introduction of propofol, they were frequently administered intravenously for induction of general anesthesia in adults and children. Uh, rectal uh, methohexetal uh, was used before for the induction in, in children. So in the doses, uh, if you're using thiopental, uh, 3 to 4 milligram per kilogram, onset of action, uh, 10 to 30 seconds. Okay, intravenous maintenance infusion, 50 to 100 milligram every 10 to 12 minutes if you're doing under total intravenous anesthesia. For methohexital, you can use an induction dose of 1 to 1.5 milligram per kilogram. And the uh, onset will be again 10 to 30 seconds. For the maintenance, you could use 20 to 40 milligram every 4 to 7 minutes. Distribution, uh, the duration of induction uh, is uh, determined by the redistribution. Okay, it's highly lipid soluble and highly uh, non-ionized fraction accounts for the rapid brain uptake, uptake within 30 seconds. Uh, but for uh, for some reason, if you are, you know, patient is hypovolemic or um, the albumin is low because, again, it is uh, highly protein bound or the non-ionized fraction is greater uh, due to uh, persistent acidosis, uh, then you will get a sudden high toxic doses that is high brain and heart concentrations will be achieved. Uh, loss of consciousness within 30 seconds and patient will be awake after 20 minutes. Uh, rapid initial distribution half-life of few minutes and elimination half-life ranges from 10 to 12 hours. Biotransformation, it, uh, it, it is metabolized by hepatic oxidation to inactive water-soluble metabolites. Uh, methohexetal is cleared rap more rapidly compared to thiopental and uh, full recovery of psychomotor function is of course more rapid following methohexetal. Uh, excretion, uh, except phenobarbital, it is uh, limited to water-soluble end products of hepatic biotransformation and methohexetal is excreted in the feces. Uh, the CNS effects, um, dose-dependent depression of central metabolic uh, rate of oxygen, cerebral blood flow, and the intracranial pressure. Uh, Dose-related depression of EEG, uh, isoelectric EEG occurs at 55% reduction of central metabolic rate of oxygen maintained at infusion of 4 mg per kilogram per hour. For this reason, it is ideal for neuroprotection. Um, so uh, cases where, you know, you have patients with traumatic brain injury or even, uh, you know, when patients uh, have just been resuscitated from, uh, uh, you know, a cardiac arrest. So uh, thiop uh, thiopentone is one of the drugs which can be used as a in the form of an infusion uh, for neuroprotection. For the um, cardiac effects, predominant effect is venodilatation. It causes depression of cardiac contractility, uh, causes increases in heart rate. Uh, SVR usually doesn't drop very significantly or increase significantly, decreases sympathetic output, uh, does not sensitize the heart to catecholamines, which, uh, which is done by halothane. Uh, pharmacodynamics, respiratory effects, dose-dependent central respiratory depression, 
uh, respiration resumes minutes after the induction. Uh, bronchospasm or laryngospasm at induction is rare. Okay, uh, the, the reflexes remain intact even with a higher doses. A uh, kidney uh, effects. Uh, the flow and the uh, GFR uh, in proportion to the fallen blood pressure, which is not so significant with thiopentone. Uh, hepatic effects, hepatic blood flow is reduced uh, for a long-term exposure. Um, induction of hepatic enzymes and increased rate of metabolism can occur. Uh, binding of barbiturates to cytochrome P450 enzyme system interferes with the biotransformation of other drugs, for example, uh, tricyclic antidepressants. Uh, uh, promotes amino levulinic acid synthetase formation of porphyrins. Okay, so acute intermittent porphyria or variegate porphyria in susceptible individuals. So obviously, if a patient is known case of porphyria, this drug is contraindicated. Uh, immunological effects, uh, uh, anaphylactic or anaphylactoid allergic reactions are not so common. Uh, thiobarbiturates evoke mast cell histamine release in vitro, while oxybarbiturates do not. So where is it used? It is used, of course, most commonly in induction of anesthesia. Um, like we just discussed, in cases of increased uh, ICP, so patients who have large tumors, patients who have uh, traumatic brain injury causing raised ICP, um, you know, then cerebral protection improves survival following focal brain ischemia. Uh, cerebral protection, again, after a cardiac arrest, you know, after resuscitation uh, of a cardiac arrest uh, patient and uh, refractory seizure disorders. Uh, side effects, um, arterial injection can cause arterial spasm, thrombosis and necrosis. Okay, accidentally, of course, if you inject it. Uh, treatment is uh, you dilute the agent, okay, uh, relieve the spasm, uh, prevent thrombosis. So you can give papaverin or lidocaine, IV lidocaine, sympathetic blockade and heparin heparinization. Um, causes mild involuntary muscular uh, movement, but not as much as automatic. Inadequate induction dose may cause coughing and hiccups, um, thus cause placenta, also secreted into milk. Overdose can cause severe cardiorespiratory depression. Laryngospasm only if the plane of anesthesia is inadequate, if you have given two less a dose. And thrombophlebitis uh, more common with 5% of thiopentone. Okay. So better to give it in a running line with, where you're flushing the line intermittently. And of course, Avoid, uh, make sure your arterial lines are well labeled so you don't accidentally inject into the arterial. Contraindicated in any patients with known or any familial history of porphyria uh, in, uh, induces enzyme uh, amino levulinic acid synthesis. Increased porphyrin can precipitate an acute intermittent porphyria. Uh, any patients with who have hemodynamic instability impending coma, adrenocortical failure, myxedema, and severe anemia. Thank you very much.